By the end of the century, we'll have a very small vestige of the Athabasca Glacier here. In mid-September, a team of researchers traveled up the Athabasca Glacier to one of 35 hydrological research sites in the Alberta Rockies where they recorded an unprecedented observation. This year, we have just short of nine meters of melt in the last 12 months, which uh, blows the old record out by two and a half meters. While glaciers have constantly been changing since the last ice age, it's only relatively recently that melt rates at Athabasca and others have been sustained and accelerating. An alarming trend given the importance of glacier water and something John Pomeroy and his team are using a range of techniques to better understand. For example, researchers will drill holes deep into the ice to set up what's called an ultrasonic depth sounder. Using that, they can remotely monitor changes in the height of the snow and ice over the seasons. Thanks to this ongoing research, Pomeroy can attribute this past year's record melt at Athabasca primarily to consistent above average temperatures over the past 12 months. Banff had a, a record warm uh, May and uh, warm, and then warm temperatures through June, July and August. This research is also being used to help model a future in which glaciers continue to melt away. After all, many Canadian communities, irrigation networks and energy facilities rely on glacier water. During dry years, for example, the Athabasca Glacier backs up waterways and ecosystems all the way to the Arctic Ocean. These stations provide that early warning, that intelligence that we need to, uh, to make good decisions about water management and uh, also to make good decisions about how we manage our atmosphere and everything else.